Shouting liar, liar, protesters didn't like what they heard as they listened to the Lebanese Prime Minister explain his new reforms. We're not leaving the streets. We don't believe even a quarter of what he's saying. The people are demanding the fall of the regime. Lies, 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 lies. Nothing will happen. They have been ruling for a long time. If they wanted to do something, they would have done it. Under pressure to calm public anger, the Prime Minister and his Cabinet approved the package of reforms on Monday. The measures included halving the salaries of past and present politicians, overhauling the dysfunctional communications and electricity sectors, and drawing up legislation designed to recover money plundered from the state. These decisions are not designed as a trade-off. They're not asking you to stop protesting or expressing anger. This is something that you decide, and we're not giving you a deadline. But even the Prime Minister knows this may not be enough to quell the protesters, who blocked roads again on Monday and called for the whole cabinet to resign. You have to know your voice is being heard. And if early elections are something you want in order to make sure that your voice is being heard, then me, Saad Hariri, will personally support you in this. The protest started on Thursday when the government proposed a raft of new taxes to reduce its huge deficit. Now demonstrators have turned their focus to wider grievances with the government, including corruption and economic mismanagement. So far, the protests have been largely calm with a party atmosphere, but they're the largest demonstration since the 2005 Cedar Revolution protests against the Syrian occupation of Lebanon. Those on the streets have rejected comparisons to the Arab Spring demonstrations, but the government knows unless it can restore calm, its days in power may be limited. Sarah Morris, TRT World.